In class today, we're going to learn about adding two chemicals together to make something new. A chemical can be a gas, a liquid, or a solid. Chemicals are usually stuff that, when added to another kind of stuff, causes a change. Notice, when we add a blue circle to a red circle, it creates a brand new purple circle. Today we will be adding potassium iodide, Dawn dish soap, and hydrogen peroxide together. Potassium iodide is used commonly in developing the pictures we take with our camera. And hydrogen peroxide is a very common thing used for cleaning out the cuts and scrapes we get when we fall. When we add these three chemicals together, it forms a new one. Not only does it form a new chemical, but it expands into a foamy new thing. This new item is a mixture of soap and water. This lab is called Elephant's Toothpaste because it looks like toothpaste coming out of the tooth, and it's large enough to use to brush an elephant's teeth. Now we are going to go ahead and do the reaction. Okay, so we're ready for the larger reaction. As you can see, we already have on our uh, aprons, we have our safety goggles, and we're going to put on gloves now. Okay, so now that we have our glasses, our gloves, and our aprons, what we're going to do is go and get our chemicals. We already have ours measured out. We have 80 milliliters of hydrogen peroxide, 50 milliliters of potassium iodide, 40 milliliters of Dawn dish soap, and some food coloring. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut our saran wrap and put it on the table. That helps with cleanup, makes things a lot easier. And you're going to want to tape that down or it's going to get all clumpy on you. Okay, so we're taping down the corners. Probably want to put one in the front down as well. Okay. So now that we have this taped down, we can put our large graduated cylinder back up. The first thing we want to do is the hydrogen into the tube. Okay. So the next thing we want to do now is add our Dawn dish soap. And the last thing that we're going to do is take our potassium iodide and add it to the rest. You might want to step back when you pour this in. Pouring fast. Wow. And that is elephant's toothpaste. So now that we've seen the reaction on a large scale, we will perform it in the size you will be doing. We're back for your reaction. The first thing that you're going to do, as just like the uh, the last lab, is we're going to put on our gloves, our safety goggles, and our aprons. And then you're going to receive your materials from your teacher. You should get a styrofoam cup, a tube, a hunk of clay, plastic wrap, and your three chemicals. 4 milliliters of hydrogen peroxide, 2.5 milliliters of potassium iodide, and 2 milliliters of Dawn dish soap. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to tape a piece of plastic wrap to the table just like the last one. Start by taping the corners. And we'll put a piece of tape on each edge. And then 
to make the apparatus in which we are going to do the reaction, you're going to take the piece of clay and the test tube, and you're going to stick the test tube in the clay so it sticks. And you're going to flatten the bottom of the clay so it'll sit straight like that. And you're going to put it in the styrofoam cup. Okay, so the first thing that we do now, it, just like the last reaction, we're going to put in the hydrogen peroxide. Into the tube. Then we're going to put our Dawn dish soap. Into the tube. And then two drops. So now that we've done that, we can add our potassium iodide, and again, we're going to step back to this. And there is elephant's toothpaste. And the last thing we want to do in this lab is clean up everything. It makes it a lot easier in your teacher, and she'll like you for it. Now that we've seen this reaction, what do we think of it? See how adding chemicals together can form a whole new chemical? It's pretty awesome. Do you think it looks like elephant's toothpaste? Have we ever seen anything like this before? What, what do we think would happen if we took out a part of the reaction? Do you think it would work as well? 